Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be another episode of DCS in 10 minutes or less uh, with the Mirage 2000. This is going to be going over taxi and takeoff. But before we get started on taxi, we're going to go over a few things. So we're going to look down here. Alright, so pause and track IR. So obviously this is going to be your landing gear handle. Landing gear down means, or handle down means landing gears are down. Up means landing gears are up. These three lights right here indicating that their landing gears are locked and they're in a the down position. When these lights are out, the landing gears are up. Right above that, this empty space is going to be a red light indicating that the landing gear doors are transitioning from opening to closing. Uh, this empty light right here is indicating that our anti-skid is either disconnected or there's a fault with it. Alright, right here, uh, this is indicating that either our wheel brakes are on or our parking brake is on, which is indicated right there. Air brakes are out. Air brakes are in. Blue lights indicating that our nose wheel steering is activated. Nose wheel steering is uh, through butter inputs as well. Last light is indicating that the drag shoots out. And right here we have our taxi light, our landing light, and our uh, the off position. All right, let's go outside and look at a few things. All right, so you notice that the Mirage has a wide wheelbase. So you actually can taxi and maneuver around pretty well compared to some other planes. For example, an F-16 that just tips over if you look at it. Uh, the Mirage will actually tip over if you put some crazy inputs into it, but at that point you deserve it. Alright, now if you look at the rear wheel, it's pretty much center of the airframe. So what that means is the engine is pretty far away from uh, the last contact point of the ground, which means that you have a good chance to do a tail strike. Uh, don't worry about it, we're not going to have any tail strikes if you follow along with this video. Alright, we got that out of the way, so now it's actually taxi. Parking brakes down, nose with steering's on. Alright, we're actually going to go, uh, we're going to go left, that way we don't take off into the sun. Alright, so, top left corner, uh, it's not up now, but once we reach 30, it'll pop up. I use that as a uh, reference for turning speeds because when you go above 30 uh, you actually have reduced uh, turning radius and turning performance. But if you're in a straight line it doesn't really matter. So there it is right there. Uh, this box right here this is just indicating our lateral G's. And then this inverted T we're going to talk about in a little bit. Uh, we're going to use that for takeoff and we're going to use it for uh, our landing video. Uh, we're going to go to the very end, so we have some time, so some performance numbers or some numbers that we need to pay attention to. So if you have the cap load out, or not cap load out, if you have a clean airplane, so no pylons, no weapons on, your rotation speed is going to be 120 knots. If you have a cap load out like I do, our rotation speed is going to be 125 knots. And then uh, if you have an air-to-ground load out, your rotation speed will be 150 knots. I'm going to put an image up right now that shows like what is the criteria for each uh, like cap or air to ground loadout. All right, no one is taking off. No one is landing. We're gonna take center line of the airfield or runway. All right, now we're pretty much centered. Nose with steering's off. Alright, I'm going to pause the game real quick. Alright, so, like I said before, the rear wheels are pretty much center of the airframe, so you have a chance of tail striking, but we're not going to tail strike because I'm going to show you why or how to prevent it. So, this inverted T right here, we're going to use this uh, for our rotation. So, whenever you rotate, you're going to keep that inverted T below the horizon line. So, when you rotate at 125 knots or whatever, uh, your rotation speed is supposed to be. Just keep that below and we're going to be good. Uh, some other notes. In the Mirage you're always going to do a full afterburner takeoff and you're going to keep it in a burner until you get 300 knots. It's just SOP and safety uh, precautions. And also obviously you're going to put your landing gear up but you're going to put it up before uh, 260 knots or it's going to start yelling at you. Mm, I think that's going to cover it. So yeah, let's just get into it. Alright, wheel brakes on. Full power. After burner is on, releasing in 3, 2, 1. We're going to look for 125 knots to rotate with the cap load out. 
Alright, pulling back on the stick now. Alright, keeping the T below the horizon. Alright, reveals up, landing gears up. Alright, that arrow right there is just indicating that we need to pull up and get altitude. Alright, lights are out, so landing gears are up. And there's 300, so we get out of runner. Alright, so now you guys are flying the Mirage. Uh, so, next episode is going to go over landing. So see you there. Later, guys.